Hi guys, now let's talk about the key pointers when it comes to PPEs. Before going in contact with your patient, make sure that you have done your PPEs, preferably outside the room for your patient before entering. Right? Be careful, do not touch any surfaces in your patient's room or walk around the hallways with your PPEs on to avoid contamination of different areas. Now, whenever you're discarding your PPEs, make sure you discard them carefully in proper measures as per your hospital or institution's policies. Respirators and masks should always be doffed off in the patient's room, outside the patient's room if I may say. All right, and immediately perform your hand washing. Next up, we're going to talk about the different PPEs that we can use with our patient. The isolation gown. The isolation gown should always be used whenever you're dealing with patients that has a lot of body fluids, uh, you're at risk for splattering all around. If your patient is incontinent in such cases, you can use a isolation gown the face mask and the respirator if your patient has droplet precautions you can use a face mask if your patient has airborne precautions you can use a respirator we're going to talk about the different usage and how to don them properly later on eye protection such as a goggle a goggle should always be used whenever your patient has a risk of contaminating your eyes and even your face so remember the goggles should always be protected on all sides. Your spectacles or your glasses should not be used or considered as your eye protection. It has to be specified, protected on all sides, top, bottom, and sides. Last but not the least, my favorite, gloves. Gloves should always be worn whenever you are in, if you are scared that you might be in contact, direct contact with body fluids or even feces or anything that could actually contaminate your hands. But please remember this, before donning any PPEs or even wearing your gloves, make sure that you use hand washing. If you don't have soap and water, you can use a hand sanitizer. Next up, we're gonna talk about the proper donning of PPEs.